Welcome back to Spinning the Past. Just wanted to give you an update on the wools that I washed a couple of videos ago. So they're all pretty much dry now. So if you remember, so I, after they dried, I put, the, I put them in these. I like these little pop-up things because they're easy to store. I put the name on it about how much, and I should put a year on here so I know the year, but that is about five pounds, 12 ounces of the Lincoln that I have. And then I have two of these Coriadales because they just wouldn't fit in one. Another thing I like about this is that it's open. That means air is circulating. That means if there's any wetness and damp on there, and there is a little bit on that one, that they will dry. So they're, they're not gonna get mildewy in that. So it's open. Uh, the light as well will deter any bugs that want to go in there. This is the Shetland that I did. Let's see. Um, so the end weight was two pounds, 15 ounces. So you, again. Now the ones that I don't have these little pop-up bags for, and I, I have to find a different place for these is, um, so this is the Rambouillet. This is the kind of the junk Rambouillet. You can see that. Um, I'm going to use that as batting and stuffing. And then this one I will spin as soon as I find a more permanent place for that. And then down there is Kloon Forest. That's dry as well. I just need to find another one. So where do I get these little pop-up camper things? I got this at, I think it's Dollar Tree just a dollar and when they come in I just buy all of them that I can because they're very useful for my wools. So I just a little update again today on spinning the past. We started a series a couple of days ago about hand carding and that's what I'll have to start doing with these hand carding or hand combing. These this is what I'm going to be doing this winter. And so I just want to give you an update and I will see you again on Spinning the Path.